بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أجمعين اللهم انفعني بما علمتني وعلمني بما ينفعني وزدني علما إنك العليم الحكيم My topic today is about hypertrophic pyloric stenosis in infants ultrasound findings. In this short talk, I will deal with the normal anatomy and ultrasound findings and some of the signs seen in the ultrasound. Pyloric stenosis is a relatively common disease with incidence is about 2 to 5 per 1,000 births and has male prediction, male to, fem to female 4 to 1, and it is commonly seen in Caucasian and less common in India and among black and other as Asian population, can be associated with terminal syndrome, tracheoesophageal fistula, esophageal atresia, and the triosomy 18. Here, this is the anatomic radiation of hypertrophic bilateral stenosis. And here we see the gallbladder, here we see the liver, stomach, superior mesenteric artery, and the superior mesenteric vein, vertebral body, and this is the water and the IVC. And we see here in the in the middle bank of the lumen, and it is surrounded by mucosa and muscularis mucosa, and surrounded by the muscularis externa, and in the white color, the cervosa. And here we see the stomach in this axial scan. Here we see the cross-section axial scan, transverse, and we see the lumen here, and the hypercook area is the mucosa, submucosa, and muscularis muscle. And here we see the muscularis externa, and this is the cervosa. And here this is the gallbladder, and this is the AP diameter of the bilateral canal, canal. And it is measures about 17 millimeter and normally it is about 14 millimeter, less than 14 millimeter. Here, this is the long axis in the bilateral canal showing the characteristic findings of the uh, bilateral stenosis, as we see here, elongated of the bilateral canal and narrowed with, this is the cervosa, and this is the muscularis externa, and this is the mucosa, the hyperechoic area, mucosa, submucosa, and here in the, between the hyperechoic area, is the lumen, and here this is the stomach, and this is the gallbladder. Here this is the normal measurement of uh, the bilateral canal, and the ABD, AB diameter is less than 14 millimeter, and the muscle thickness is about less than 3 millimeter, and in the bilateral length, less than 16 to 17 millimeter. Here, this is a normal infant with um, normal findings. The bilateral canal muscle thickness measures about 2.4 millimeter, and this is normal. And in the bilateral canal length, it is about uh, 13 millimeter. And we see this is the normal finding in the barium study. Here, another patient with bilateral stenosis with passage and without passage of the 
gastric contents without passage. Here we have the bilateral length. It is measures about 2.13 centimeter and the muscle thickness it is about 0.56 centimeter and in the during the passage of the food uh, it is measures about uh, 1.77 centimeter and in the muscle thickness is about 0.56 centimeter here another patient with target sign and this is the patient with bilateral stenosis with vomiting infant with vomiting and we see here elongated node by the canal with thickening of the muscle in the long axis and in the transverse cut here superior mesenteric artery and vein and this is the target sign here, this is another sign of ultrasound, also can be seen in the barium, and this is, looks like the umbrella sign or mushroom sign, uh, and here we see the double track sign. We will discuss this, the fluoroscopic signs in separate talk. Here, uh, this is another patient with uh, umbrella or mushroom sign and this is the gallbladder and here elongated uh, uh, of the bilateral canal with thickness of the muscle here here this is another sign of bilateral stenosis in this three month old patient with bilateral stenosis and we see here that this is the nibble sign and this is due to redundant bilateral mucosa protruding in the gastric antrum as we see here here we have the gallbladder and here we have the uh, lumen and the mucosa protruded in the in the gastric antrum and this is the Neville sign. Here, this is another patient with hypertrophic bilateral stenosis, good blood up here, and this is the target sign, and this is the thickened uh, muscularis externa, and uh, here the lumen in the middle, and mucosa, submucosa, and muscularis layer. Here, this is the uh, same patient with long axis, and we see here another patient with nibble sign, and this is redundant of the uh, mucosa uh, and protruded in the antrum, giving like the nibble. And this is the thickened muscularis externa, and this is the elongated bilateral canal. Here is another patient with another sign. We have the cervix sign of bilateral stenosis. And also we have the shoulder sign of bilateral stenosis. And here we see some bulging of the, of the bilateral muscle to the antrum. And this is, we call it shoulder sign. And here we see the indentation of the muscle on the antrum filled with fluid, and we call it cervix sign. Here another patient with cervix sign, indentation of the bilos in the, uh, in the fluid filled antrum, as we see here and we see here. Thank you for listening and hoping to see you soon in another talk.